Well, good morning. Uh, it's Saturday, and uh, I've got anticipation to see my little knucklehead today. So I don't know how long I'll be in here. If I hear him come up, then I'll cut the tape off. Uh, I'm excited to see him. I hadn't seen him in a little while. And I think my wife has gone to retrieve him and get him back here for a day or two at the most. And then he'll be going back home. But I always enjoy seeing the kid when he comes. So um, don't really have no scripture this morning other than the fact that I'm uh, anticipating Jesus. Um I believe I can safely say that I'm waiting on his soon return. And no, I don't know when he's coming. I have no clue of when he's coming. But I do believe that he is coming. And I just don't know when that time is. So, but I'm, uh, I've got expectation uh, God is good. He's on time. He's never late. That's one thing I can say. He's never late when it comes to his blessing, his love, his grace, his support. You know, I've got in trouble several times of trying to answer people's question. And uh, I must have taken it the wrong way or something like that, you know, but... When somebody asks a question that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, you have to wonder what are they trying to say, and sometimes I I don't know. But I am willing to apologize if I take something out of order or if I don't understand the full meaning of what they're saying. I try to read their question two or three times before I throw an answer out there. I just don't toss an answer just to be answering. But um, the only teacher is the Lord. Uh, our minds can be very tricky. Uh, when we start impressing the Lord with our minds, we're messing up. Our mind is 50 rags in the eyes of God. And, uh, you know, our minds can lead us astray. And our minds can play havoc. But um, God is good. He's really good. The last video I made is I was telling everybody to go over to the ending book of... Uh, Revelation, the last um, the last chapter of Revelation, and I want to look at that. Being as I advised people to uh, go see it, and like I say, I don't have my phone in my saddle um, today, and this Bible is really, really tore up bad on the on the beginning verses. Um, the phone is really in a in a in a bad bad way. Um, I think yeah, I got my glasses right here. Uh, let me just cut in that verse number six. Being my Bible was ripped up on the bottom on the top verses where it talks about the pure river, the clear river, the clear as crystal, the river clear as crystal. Um, it talks about the street of heaven, the throne of God. Uh, there'll be no more curse. Uh, like I say, there and there'll be no night there. I'm just sort of skipping over this part because it's all raggedy on this part. But then it clears up where it says, talking about the sun shall give them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. 
and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Now listen to this now. Behold, I come quickly. In red letters now. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. Well, who caused John to see these things and to hear them? It was the Lord. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Well, see, the angel of God was sent by God. So in a sense, it was God that sent this to him, but he bowed before the angel. And then saith he unto me, the angel now, see thou do it not. Don't bow before me, the angel, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. Don't take time to worship the angel. Worship God. Well, that's good advice for us today here. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Well, there's a time that it talks about being at hand in Revelation 1 and verse 3. It tells us that time is at hand. And now this is where he stored a, he told us up there, don't seal the prophecy of this book. So here's what he's saying in verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. You know, it, this is, this is cutting down to the um, to the end time. I mean, this is cutting down to the final get go. This is coming down to where we are today. And when we read and we study and we look for the coming of the Lord, when it says here, you know. He that is unjust, let him be unjust. Meaning on that final day, if a person is unjust, they're going to be unjust. But then he says in verse 12, and behold, I come quickly. Well, he just said that in verse 7. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. See, he's going to reward the Christian for the reward that they deserve. And that's what the reward is for. And then he says in verse 13, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You know what? He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the first and the last. See, it wouldn't have made no sense for God to have prepared everything to not have no end to it. He is the beginning. He is the end. And the end is coming very, very near to man. But yet, I think man just don't seem to seem to care too much. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city, meaning the ones who keep the commandment. Well, what was the two commandments that he was referring to here? He was referring to love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, and body, and to love your neighbor as yourself. So when he says keep the commandment, then with the two of the commandments that he's telling us to keep, in order that we can be able to enter. Now, does that mean that there's going to be some that's going to enter in that that didn't love him maybe as much as they could have? Well, I believe that very well could be because we're going to be rewarded for 
uh, the blessing that we was able to do. And he says, for without, meaning without in the city now, without the city, without our dogs and sorcerers, whoremongers and murderers, idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Person that makes a lie, didn't trust in the Lord, didn't care about the will of God, didn't care about the ways of God, they have their place as well. And then in verse number 16, it says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. See, Jesus is letting it be known who sent John to tell John these things. This wasn't just coincidental. This was the Lord himself. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Now, here's where it comes down to the closing uh, words. And the spirit and the bride say come. You notice it said the spirit first. It's the place of God where God is. The spirit and the bride say come. And let him that heareth say come. And let him that is a thirst come. I made a message on this. Not too awful long ago. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Well, it is free. Salvation is free. But listen to what it gets down to at the very end. I'm in verse 18 now. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of this prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. What does that mean? You add to the word of God, you get the plagues of the word of God. We don't, man doesn't have a right to change God's word, but yet it happens every day that man comes up with a new Bible. They come up with a better Bible. They come up with a new and improved Bible. Well, he tells us right here, don't add nothing. And then in verse 19, it says, And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city. Meaning, here's what he's saying. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. Does that mean that a person doesn't have salvation? No, I believe it means that it takes away the the reward that that person would have had had the person wouldn't have taken the words out of the out of the book of the prophecy. He's saying here, he which testifieth these things says, surely I come quickly. That's three times the Bible said, surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. See, even John was even saying, come on now, don't wait, just come on now. But it wasn't time. It wasn't time for him to come right then. And then the last verse, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And then he closes out the book. The book is shut down. The book is 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 not um, not looked at because the Bible is finished, and he's coming back to finish what he started, what he started when he made um, um, uh, Adam and and Eve and the Garden of Eden. He's going to end up finishing it, and he's going to finish it because he came. He was faithful. He came to the cross. The Father sent him from heaven to the cross. He was nailed to the cross. He had nails put in his hands and feet. The Bible says that God raised him from the dead three days later. And the Bible says that he's on the right hand of God the Father making intercession. So I'm anticipating his coming. And I hope you are. 
I hope that you're looking forward to his coming. Elderly ministry is how you get a hold of me here. If you want to talk, you can get a hold of me here, elderlyministry.com. The YouTube channel is Elderly Ministry. You can go there. There's a bunch of videos there that you can watch. Um, just go there with an open mind. Just go there with the attitude that the Lord might even use something that is on them videos that will help to answer some of the questions. Okay, I'm going to go outside now and look for my knucklehead. And uh, hopefully he'll be here uh, very, very soon. So with that, we'll say uh, good evening. And we'll be back maybe tomorrow with something else. Don't know yet. All right. Y'all have a good one. Thank y'all for watching.